Use headphones for a better experience. Adjust the gra- Okay. Hey, fellas. Welcome to my playthrough of The Elevator. I, uh, don't know anything about this game except that it's a little loud. Uh... Everything seems fine to me. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I didn't know what to upload today, but... Then I found The Elevator. So let's play it. Let's not waste any time. How was Mother's Day? I didn't do anything. <laughs> the elevator. This is a pretty cool start to a game. Gives me some 80s vibes, right? Carl Casey. Special thanks to all those people. Including me. That? For real? On God? Posts? Touch? Okay, it's E. E. Uh, okay, so this is what? The people that we're accepting? Okay. This sensitivity is insane. Hold on. <laughs> we gotta lower this by at least half. That's fine. PSX or PS2? 1995 or horror or VHS? I kind of want to mess with that. Let's see. Let's do PS2. Oh, everything is like a little too good looking. This is better. 1995? I kind of like this too. What about horror? Yeah, I like this too. What about VHS? Eh, that's whack. I think I'm going to stick with horror. This looks pretty good. I like how the, the darks are accentuated. So this is the front of the lobby? Presumably this is a hotel. And this is the elevator. This elevator is kind of weird. Can I go? I can't. Okay. Hmm, a fully functioning clock. Lost child. Whoa, 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 hey buddy. Fucking cool it, I'm going behind my safe desk. They move like the people in Chilla's Arts game, like maybe they're using the same animations? I don't know. You better ring the bell. You bitch. Kareem Musa. Good evening, sir. I'm staying in room 105. My name is Kareem Musa. Just a second, sir. I'll check. Kareem Musa. There he is. Right there. Alright, you can go up, sir. Thank you, and good night. This is all I gotta do? This is a pretty simple job. I wonder when this will become useful. Mm. Uh-oh. Shit, this elevator's driving me crazy. We can't go in it, though, so... I guess we have to... <laughs> this fucking elevator is driving me crazy! Oh, I can go in it now. But I can't really do anything in it, so I guess we'll just leave. What else do we got around here? Hmm, can I go outside? That'd be cool. Oh my god, alright, this is pretty fucking spooky then. Oh, you can't really go far though. Unless you're me. No, never mind. Okay. So what's my goal? What, did, what am I doing? I think I'm just hanging out until stuff happens. 
Oh boy. Okay. That doesn't look right. I guess it does. <laughs> can I get a can I get a customer? Anybody, please. Damn, you can you can feel the coldness of being out here. Because of that moon and the clouds. Nicely done. Oh fuck. Alright, I'm sorry. Let me uh Let me just hide inside. Safely behind my desk. Uh hello. Take your time. Alan Alonzo. Hello, friend. I stayed here this morning. I'm sleepy. Can I go to my room? Just a second, sir. I'll check. Alan Alonzo. Alan Alonzo. Alan Alonzo. Alan. Alan Alonzo. Hey. All right. You can go on up. Thank you and good night. You know what this game reminds me of, kind of? It kind of reminds me of Security Booth. I also made a video on that. You could watch it if you'd like. It's basically the same thing. You you profile cars and let them in or don't. Alright, so is this elevator gonna go crazy now? Ooh, another guy. Is that Freddy Krueger? I don't know. Just a dude. A very creepy looking guy, though. He does show up on the camera. Scott T. Hey, man, I want to go to my room soon. I'm Scott. Just a second, sir. I'll check. I don't know if he's on here. Uh, da 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 da. -da. Nope. Scott T. Scott T. Scott? Ooh, not on the list. I'm so sorry. Your name is not on the list. Go fuck yourself, you son of a bitch. That's one way to handle it. Scott. Get out of here. Yeah. I want to see you disappear. Oh, no, no, no. That's... That's not disappearing. They need to fix the elevator soon. Yeah, they really do. Can I go inside? No. I can't do anything, though. Oh, man, I'm freaking out. I don't know why. Can I go inside now? Oh, I can. Oh, fuck! Why? What have I done? <laughs> Alright, so we're not getting in the- Oh, fuck! I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. What have we done... <laughs> ...for us to have these crazy visions? Ah, oh, this guy's a problem. What is that? Who are they? Those are kids, right? Pointing at them? It's a Redditor, Pasquale Salzano. Hi, Josh. Can I go to my room? I'm too tired. Hello, Mr. Salzano. Just wait a minute. Pas Pasquale Salzano? Let's see. Are you on my list? Ah, you are. Pasquale Salzano. You can go on up. Good night and good work, friend. Hmm. I don't know. The way these kids are looking at you. I don't know if I made the right call. Maybe you're the bad guy they've been alluding to. He's still there. Seriously, fuck this elevator. Do I really have to go in there? 
What was that? Was that me? I can't even go in there anyway, so... Dude. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I'm so jumpy today. Hotel 616. Josh, how can I help you? Good night, Josh. This is Detective Hoffman. I'm calling to alert you to a murderer on the loose. Good night, Detective. A killer on the loose? It's so weird to be seeing that phrase used as a greeting. <laughs> a killer on the loose? We are calling all the hotels in the area. He's a dangerous guy. The victims are all children. My god, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect. A tall, bald, bearded man. My god, can you tell me more about him? We have a description of the suspect. A tall, bald, bearded man. Thanks for the warning, detective. I'll keep an eye out. Thanks for your attention, Josh. Good night. I know who it is. Just let me tell him who it is. We know exactly who it is. Alright, well, can we go upstairs? No. I think I'm going crazy. I'm working too hard. Yeah, you've said that. A couple times, actually. Ah, uh, I'm kind of spooked. Because that guy's upstairs. I can go in here? No, I can't. Whoa, 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 okay. Don't do that. Ah, never mind. Not allowed. Maybe I gotta check the camera? Oh, you fucking bitch. Can I help you? Shit. Get up. Fuck. Dude, binging with Babish is the murderer. I'm going to need to go, Josh. If anyone looks for me, let me know. Oh, I'll let him know. I'm, I'm gonna tell him right now. Is that a kid? That is. What's he pointing at? The painting? What about the painting? I can't do anything with it. He's gone. Okay. He left the door open. Oh, is that on purpose? I think that might be on purpose. Hmm, maybe not? Can't do anything. Can't even close the door, so... Ah, shit, here we go. <sighs> How do you guys feel right now? <laughs> okay, so no, no, no go on the elevator. Or maybe now I can? Can. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, we're going. Look, I'm not the guy. I know the guy, though. We're gonna catch him. Oh, shit. Is this his room? Alright, we have proof. Let's get out of here. Right? Why would we go in? We know who it is. What the fuck was that? I'm freaking out. Call the cops, dude. You've got to be kidding me. I don't see a reason to sit, so... Salzano matches the killer's characteristics. I'll notify the police. Well, that's a smart thing to do. Detective Hoffman, how can I help you? Hi, Detective. This is Josh from the front desk at Hotel 616. Hi, Josh. Do you have something important for me? There is a guest here who matches the characteristics of the assassin. He, j he has just left the hotel. Thanks for the info. I'll send a friend over to check it out. No. Send the fucking battalion. What do you mean? Oh, and of course he's coming back right on the dot.
Matrix on you, Josh. I've got the phone bugged. You're dead. Uh, did something happen, Josh? You look very nervous. I know, buddy. It's okay. How, how is your walk? Invigorating. But are you sure it's okay? You are sweating. It's okay. Don't worry. I'm just tired. I think you're hiding something. Aren't we friends? I'm not hiding anything. I already told you. Everything is fine. Cool. Cool, Josh. You played it off real good, dude. I love the way you played that cool and collected. Shit, this one was close. He is very suspicious. No. He's on to us. He knows 100% that we know something. And we're stupid, Josh. You and I, we fucked up. Oh boy, here we go. Also, no guardrail here. That's a big no-no. That's an OSHA violation. I would know. Oh man, here we go. Blood is dripping from the top of the elevator. Open? Is he gonna... He's gonna come through the elevator right here, isn't he? You got nothing to say about that, huh? Dude, when we step outside of the elevator, he's gonna get us. For sure. Oh my god, no way. My god, this scene will never get out of my head. I'm surprised he's not there. Where the fuck are the cops? Am I missing something? <laughs> I'll sit here. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right here with the chair in between me and anything else. Fuck, man, I gotta go. I gotta do something. Can I go up the stairs? No, I can't. Oh, maybe I gotta hit a button. That would make sense. No? What do I gotta do here? Oh, fuck! Dude, that son of a bitch. I knew it. I knew it. It, it had to be something with the elevator. Oh, man. This game is a dollar, by the way. All right, so I think the elevator thing was supposed to work the first time. Or maybe he was really clever about how he did it and made it so that the first time you go out, nothing happens. So then you do everything around the room, go back and then die. So it's like he he gotcha, you know? If that's the case, then that was very clever. Uh, but yeah, guys, I was actually trying to find something more akin to an RPG Maker game to upload today, but I couldn't find a good one. So if you know one, let me know in the comments and I'll play it. But uh, for now, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.